Perform an MRI with contrast if you are assessing one of the following conditions. Assessing a possible new plastic process or cancer, whether primary or secondary, like assessing for a primary or secondary brain cancers. Assessing for a possible infection, like assessing the possibility of osteomyelitis or bone infection. Or assessing the possibility of an inflammatory process, like assessing for multiple sclerosis, where contrast help differentiate active from inactive lesions or assessing inflammatory bowel disease with MRI enterography using oral contrast. Or assessing blood vessels. An example of this is head and neck MRA to assess the head and neck blood vessels. It's important to know that MRA can be done without contrast as well, but the picture quality is much better with contrast. So make sure when you order an MRA to indicate whether contrast is required or not, this is in comparison to CT angiography or CTA, which is by default has to be done with IV contrast. Thanks for watching.